Oh, and yes, we are back. Let's continue with this. Gotta heal myself. Oh, nice. Well, poor Billy ain't getting to attack very much, is he? Let's do that. And he's down. Now, if you don't train like I do, he could be much more of a challenge. But luckily, I fight every fight that I encounter. So, usually when I first played this game, I'd be like level 36 when I'd fight him. So, yeah. Fighting every fight that you go up against will help a lot. Also, learning all the death blows you can also helps a lot. Luckily, I've learned a lot of, almost all of them. Too strong! Huh? Whoa. You. No, it's our chance! Get back to Grillian! I got him! Hurry! Go after them! Wiseman. That voice! Wiseman! Go! Everyone! Hurry! What the? A little early, isn't it? I see. It was that woman. Fine. You will do fine as my toy for today. Huh? Oh no. Ha <laughs> ha! in time, that guy in Wiseman, they're really going at it. I can feel the ether power all the way up here. Okay, that just sounded like a Dragon Ball Z reference right there. I can feel the ether power. So we are too late. Satan! So someone named Grillian took that kid. So what? What the heck is a nanomachine anyway? Nanomachines are robots that are smaller than human cells. They are used to cure diseases of wounds and solace. She may be a colony of nanomachines made by the ancient, but advanced technology. Then, what's the prob? It's good for people, right? It just irritates me that it's all only for Solaris. I am worried about what Bishop Stone mentioned. He said he needed her to free humanity from its yoke. Perhaps some ancient information on human reconstruction is hidden inside her body. Demi humans, such as Rico and Hammer, were born from the results of messing around with DNA. That was done by Ancestor Solaris in the hopes that it would bring around the restoration of mankind. If clearly is thinking of trying the same thing with improved nanotechnology, that would be frightening. Uh, Krillian, he's a psychopath. Psychopath! 
Go in. Go what you got in there. Thank you. Now. For this, you want to go ahead and go to something with your gears, which is required, because there's about to be a boss fight. Uh, yes, I, I, I said that correctly. We're going to have another freaking boss fight. They do not play around with this at all. And I also might be changing my gear. Yeah, I probably will. I'll take Rico. Instead of Bart for this one. Well, actually, no. I have to take Rico as someone, so... Yeah. Let's see if I can do anything yet. No, same stuff. Refuel everything. Whoops. Now, there's a strategy you want to do for this battle. Let's see. Uh, it's rather ticky. It's rather crazy. Let's see. Being ground. Well, this could be bad. This could be very bad, honestly. Hold on. Yeah, this is bad. Very bad. Ah. Uh. Hold on, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording because I gotta think about this. This is gonna be kind of, kind of difficult. All right, I'm back. I think I got everything fixed like I want it. Now, the reason why this is so hard for me is that this is one of the toughest bosses in the game. One of them, at least. One of the toughest gear bosses. The reason why is that he casts a spell, a certain move that does a shit ton of damage on a gear. And I usually have this equipment that makes me take a lot less damage from them attacks, but for some reason, this one time, I don't have any of that equipment. So, I don't know what to do about that. But, yeah. Of course, I'm not gonna... After I save, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop early. Because it's gonna be intense. But yeah, in the next video, I shall, of course, continue with this. Once the boss battle actually shows up later, I will explain how to best go about going at this guy. At least in my opinion. There's probably better ways out there. But until that time, guys, have a wonderful day.